the FBI Boston Division. And I'm pleased to be joined here today by Boston Police Commissioner William Gross, Suffolk County District Attorney Rachel Rollins, and United States Attorney Andy Lelling. It is with heavy hearts that we mark today's anniversary of one of the bloodiest massacres in Boston's history. 30 years ago today, in the close-knit community of Chinatown, five men lost their lives, and another man's life was changed forever. Today, we are renewing our call for the public's assistance in locating longtime fugitive Hung Tian Pham, who is wanted for his alleged role in the ruthless execution-style murders of five men at a Chinatown social club. We are also announcing a reward of up to $30,000 for information leading directly to his arrest. At approximately 4 a.m. on January 12, 1991, Hung Tian Pham entered the social club located on Tyler Street in Boston and allegedly shot six men in the back of the head while they were playing cards. Of the six victims, only one survived the attack and subsequently identified Pham along with two others as the shooters. Six days later, Pham was indicted by a grand jury in Suffolk County Superior Court on five counts of murder, one count of armed assault with intent to murder, one count of conspiracy, and one count of carrying a firearm without a license. He is also charged in the District of Massachusetts with unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. Pham is the only defendant in this case who has not been arrested and convicted. The other men were arrested in China and returned to the United States in 2001, where both are currently serving five consecutive life sentences. No motive was ever officially established in this case. Shortly after the incident, Pham allegedly left his two children and their mother and drove to Atlantic City to gamble and then to New York where he boarded a flight for Hong Kong on February 1st, 1991. In addition to this quintuple homicide, Pham is also wanted by the Boston Police Department for another murder that occurred four days before the massacre on January 8th, 1991. Investigators determined in the 1980s through the early 1990s, Pham was an associate of Asian organized crime, specifically the Ping An Crime Syndicate, which operated in Boston, Philadelphia, Chicago, and Toronto. His last known location was Bangkok, Thailand, in the mid to late 1990s. Pham was born in Mon Cai, North Vietnam, and still has family there. He also has family in the San Francisco Bay Area of California, Toronto, Canada, and South Korea. Pham is a Vietnamese national of Chinese descent and is fluent in Vietnamese, Chinese, and English. He would now be 60 years old. At the time of the murders, he had black hair and brown eyes and weighed approximately 115 to 135 pounds. He stands about five feet, three inches tall, and resided on Clayton Street in Dorchester. He has a variety of aliases and has held a variety of jobs, including but not limited to cook, waiter, bicycle repairman, and floor sander. Pham was also known to be a big spender who liked flashy cars and cognac. We are asking the public to review Pham's wanted poster which includes newly released photos along with an age progressed photo of what he may look like now. We are also launching an international publicity campaign, including but not limited to a dedicated web page on FBI.gov, social media outreach on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and targeted publicity in the cities to which FAM has been tied. The public can play an active role in helping us find Pham by sharing links to his wanted poster and official social media content. The FBI has a broad reach and an even longer memory when it comes to finding fugitives. We know this crime has haunted the Chinatown community for decades 
and we hope this renewed effort will produce real results that might give the victims' families who have already suffered so much heartache some much needed closure. To this day, their losses continue to cause great sorrow and we urge anyone with information about FAM's whereabouts to come forward. We are hoping this reward incentivizes anyone with information about his current whereabouts to contact law enforcement. No amount of information is too small or irrelevant. Even if you don't know where FAM is now, we would be interested in hearing from you if you know where he has been. And if you see him, immediately contact law enforcement. Do not attempt to confront or apprehend him yourself. I would especially like to acknowledge the Boston Police Department's Homicide Unit and the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office for the tireless efforts they have committed to this investigation, as well as the United States Attorney's Office in the District of Massachusetts for their assistance with the unlawful flight to avoid prosecution charge. As evidenced by our collective efforts on this case to this day, we will never forget and we will not rest until Hung Tian Pham is located, arrested, and brought to justice. Now, I will turn it over to Boston Police Commissioner William Gross to say a few words.